Hello, my name is Joshua Rudd of Rudd's Home Farm, and today I will show you what you need to do to keep your hydroponic water clean. Clean water is a necessary part of hydroponics, and you will not have healthy plants without it. Dirty water quickly becomes overrun with bacteria and fungus, which will eventually attack the plant's roots, weakening or killing the plant. If you like this video, show some love by liking the video or subscribing for more. So what type of water should you use? I recommend tap water for most applications, believe it or not. It does have chlorine, but if, a, if, a, if you want to, you can add an inline carbon filter to your water hose to get rid of it. Um, distilled water is the purest water you could use, but also the most expensive. Uh, I, I just, so for the price of it, tap water will do the job just fine. Do not use soft water. I have been using it for a while and I noticed that my plants had stunted growth. So I went to my local hydroponics store and asked some questions. So he told me that too much salt will engage nutrient lockout, just like an imbalanced pH would. Most liquid fertilizers are also salt-based. So my water had too much salt in it, preventing my plants from growing. If you can, I'm not sure if you can see, you know, I spilled some on the outside and you could see right here, scratch it off a little bit. That's definitely salt deposit. The liquid part is dry, but the salt particles have remained. So I'm adding salt to salt, making it too salty. So be careful with salt water. Okay, so let's talk about the actual water. So I add four mils per gallon of food grade hydrogen peroxide. You can see 34%. So four mils, and here's the dropper. Four mils is a very small amount, but this is very concentrated hydrogen peroxide. You should, be, you should make sure you use gloves when you're using this. So. This liquid oxygen or uh, hydrogen peroxide, uh, it kills the majority of all bacteria while leaving the plant's roots safe because the, the thicker plant's roots can handle the hydrogen peroxide while small bacteria cannot. Okay, so over here, um, let's talk about air bubblers. Um, air bubblers promote healthy environments for aerob aerobic bacteria while keeping anaerobic bacteria at bay. And anaerobic is the type that dwells in lack of oxygen and that's what causes root rots on your plants. So I'm doing a lot of things to upgrade from, to get away from making an environment for root rot to grow because I've had a lot of trouble. So you also, what you would also wanna do is upgrade to a circulating system. So you don't wanna have that stagnated water. I used to grow with crack key. These used to be crack key trays. But now, as you can see in the back, I have a simple NFT system that I'm very proud of. Um, the prototype. So you got the bucket there. You got the reservoir here. You got your irrigation lines. And then you have these, these little pieces right here. You put two of them in for and then it flows through and then goes back to the underneath and it goes back to the back to the reservoir. So pretty much moving water does a lot better to keep nutrients, to keep the, the water clean than stagnant warm water and it'll last a bit longer. As you can see, um, these plants have suffered from root rot and I just recently upgraded. So pretty much you can probably see here, this is the best one here. Let me rotate this real quick, this plant, so you can see better, you get a better view. There you go. So you can see all that black bubbly stuff, and you can see that it's growing new, healthy, whiter roots, but there's also still plenty of that black goop. That's that's root rot in hydroponics. You can see other plants are suffering a tiny bit, but they're uh, beginning to recover and, and remake new roots. You can see here really well that the roots in the back in the in the background have root rot on them and they've died but it's regrowing new roots on the outside so i'm being a little bit more patient with these plants instead of just well it's got a little bit of root rot so just can the whole thing and so these haven't grown much since uh since I switched over, but if I just keep waiting, I see the roots growing and then eventually the tops of the plants will grow. So you wanna upgrade to a recirculating system. It's very healthy for hydroponics. You got aeroponics, you got 
um, NFT nutrient film technique, which is this one. This is nutrient film technique. Um, you got ebb and flow where it fills up the bucket and then it empties the bucket. Pretty much those, those types are really good for your hydroponic plants. You don't have to deal with uh, root rot all the time. So there's that. By the way, this is actually very clean water, even though you see this little leaf floating around and uh, the color of the water is because of the nutrients added to the water. It's like this dark brown color. So very clean water actually. So uh, another thing to note with the air bubbler is that uh, it also adds good, healthy um, oxygen to your solution. And then the plants can actually drink the air that is dissolved in the water, right? Pretty much right now it's, it's dissolving uh, oxygen, air, whatever's in air, it's dissolving it into the water and the bubbles coming up are just the excess of what hasn't dissolved into the water. And so as it dissolves into the water, that's really healthy for the plant's roots. Like you just make, you just wanna make a really good environment for the plant's roots. Oh, and I'd like to add that you should change your nutrient water every week. I used to say every three weeks, you know, every two weeks, but if you really want to keep your water clean, you have to change it often. Um, after I change it every week and now that I'm using a circulating system, I see a lot of gunk getting caught in the pump right down here. Uh, lots of gunk gets caught in the filter and uh, yeah, I have, I have problems. So every, unfortunately, there's no way around it. You have to change out this water every week. That's why I prefer circulating systems because all I have to do is change this sucker right here with a couple extra gallons instead of with Crack Key or DWC, Deep Water Culture, you'd have to replace each of these containers of water with new nutrients. You'd have to drain them and, and sucks moving these things that full of water on, you're splashing water everywhere. And it's just, it's kind of miserable, but I'm liking the new technique of, all I have to do is just, I don't even need to, to move it. It's like I turn the, I disconnect it up here and then I turn the pump on and I put it into another bucket and then I can empty that bucket and it'll pump into another bucket and then I just empty that bucket if I really wanted to. So very simple, very easy. Um, if you wanna know more about this type that I'm doing, I'll be creating more videos where I go through what exactly I did to create this uh, flow side. This is a prototype. I haven't even brought it to full scale yet. You can see I got uh, lots of germinating plants here you can just lift it up lots of germinating plants here so lots of good things to come real soon so every time you harvest your plants and you're done with your grow tray you always want to clean the grow tray to get all the sediment and bacteria out of the grow tray i use my dishwasher that i have in my grow room because who wouldn't have a dishwasher in your grow room I, uh, someone gave me one, this one for free, so I decided to put it down here in my hydroponic room. It fits like three, three trays at once, and so I could just set it and forget it instead of hand washing all this time at the sink. And so, there you go. Make sure you every time after every grow, you just don't keep reusing the same container because eventually you will have problems. You need to wash them. If you want to be an excellent hydroponic grower, your water needs to be clean. Thanks for watching. Check out this video showing you what happens when you don't keep your water clean. Comment below if you have ever experienced root rot in your system. And if you would like my tools and accessories or you see anything you like back here, links in the description for all the tools. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.